What would you say is a sign that your phone has been tapped? Most people would probably answer, it's those unusual noises that you may hear. The pulsating static, high-pitched humming, or clicks and cracks, or even someone's breath coming from the phone's earpiece. It is true. Sort of. In fact, it was, some 40 years ago, when phone lines were analog. But these days, when telecoms use digital data processing, it's very different. Any digital data stream can be intercepted and captured without you or your party ever noticing or hearing anything. But that was before you found this video. With some basic knowledge that I'm going to share with you today, you can actually find out a lot about what your phone or some other malicious party is up to. This is Ron Latino. And we're going to start with USSD codes. USSD stands for Unstructured Supplementary Service Data and was originally meant as a simplistic interactive system where you enter a certain numeric code on your phone's keyboard and get a response on the screen, either from the phone itself or from your mobile service provider. If you dial asterisk hash 06 hash, your phone will display its AMA code. Right. So, the first USSD we are going to need now is asterisk hash 21 hash. This code checks for unconditional call forwarding. What's unconditional forwarding? It's what it says. If it's active, whenever you get an incoming call, it always unconditionally gets routed to the number displayed. My phone, which is a Samsung Galaxy S8, shows forwarding for all types of communications separately. And we can see that no voice, data or fax calls are being forwarded on my device. But how can forwarding be used to record calls if it routes them elsewhere? If it's active, you're not going to receive any calls at all, right? Wrong. There are online services which provide you with a so-called proxy phone number. Once all your calls are forwarded to it, they are recorded and then routed back to your phone, which effectively compromises all your conversations. So, if you see any of these settings activated on your device, a phone number listed here or something, you can disable that, and I will tell you how at the end of this video. Our next code is asterisk hash 62 hash. This shows call forwarding settings when your phone is off or not reachable. On my phone, all forwarding is again turned off. But in your case, if you have voicemail enabled, it's possible you have some phone number listed for voice calls. This is normal, as your incoming calls will be forwarded to voicemail recorder when you're not available. But what you must do is recheck with your carrier if it's actually the number they use for voicemail processing. Write it down, give them a call, and make sure. If it's not, your phone may have been compromised. Check the end of this video on how to disable this setting. OK, we've only covered carrier-related settings that could potentially be used to intercept your calls. However, your smartphone is a portable computer and every application you install could possibly use both your phone's camera and microphone to keep you under surveillance. So, let's see what we can do here. Go to your phone settings, then navigate to Applications. Then go to App Permissions. Your phone's menu may be different and will depend on Android version, but the permission settings can always be found there. So, this is a list of permissions based on sensor type. And if we tap the corresponding item, we can see which application actually uses which sensor. For example, I don't have any health or fitness apps installed. But it turns out, Google Play Services, for some reason, wants to use body sensors. Let's see what apps use camera. Well, not surprisingly, Camera uses camera, 
which is the app you use to shoot pictures. But Google Authenticator also uses camera, which may come as a surprise, but in fact is not. Because this app uses QR code scanning to function. You can disable the camera for it and it will still work, but you won't be able to scan any QRs. Microphone. Now, I have a piano tuner app using the microphone, which makes sense. Also, the game booster, no idea what that is. Let us disable that. SMS. Samsung Experience Service, which is defined as intelligent interface that learns from you to help you more. Okay, looks like it also wants to learn something from my texts. I'm gonna disable that too. Storage. Storage is all your files, including photos and videos. Note that apps that store data will need this. So it's normal, say, for your accounting app to have access, but it's not normal for a game. I think you get the idea. You have to go through all the permissions, scroll to the very bottom of every screen, and make sure that the apps that you don't want to record anything do not actually have access to your phone's microphone or camera. We have yet one more setting that may allow your phone to capture data and send it to the third party. Open Settings and find Language and Input Menu item. On my phone, it's within General Management tab. You can also use Search in the Settings screen to find it. Okay, what do we got here? Android allows you to select application used to emulate keyboard on your phone's screen. The one you use to type messages, for example. I have my default keyboard set to Gboard, which is keyboard app from Google. My phone also has an app from the phone's manufacturer called Samsung Keyboard. Check this setting on your phone and make sure it's set to a legitimate app. If not, everything you type, including private messages, may be captured and uploaded to a hacker's server. And we got yet one more setting here. Text to speech. Press the settings icon. And here we got Anonymous Usage Reports, which is set to on. You want to disable that, because it can be used to collect private information. And the last item we're going to examine is Google. Scroll down to the Ads setting. As you probably know, Google delivers targeted ads. To achieve that, it collects information on your interests, people you communicate with, and places you visit. I personally don't like targeted ads delivered to my phone, especially health-related. So if you're like me, you want to first hit Reset Advertising ID. This will erase your profile Google has been building since you started using this device. Then you want to press Opt Out of Ads Personalization. This will disable user behavior tracking on your device and will also speed up your smartphone a bit. OK, now back to call forwarding. The code that will disable all forwarding on your device is hash hash 002 hash, including the voicemail, which I personally never use because I find it more confusing than helpful. Erasure was successful. Enjoy. And one more fun trick that I would like to share with you today. You can use call forwarding to actually pretend your phone number does not exist. Could be a great way to trick a stalker or former partner that's been giving you a hard time. Dial asterisk 21 asterisk 12345 hash send. 12345 is a non existent number, and if anyone dials it, they will naturally hear the message, this number does not exist. Finally, you can still forward all your calls to such bogus numbers. The phone will function as usual for outgoing calls, but anyone who calls you will hear 
the phone does not exist error announcement. To go back to normal settings, just use the previous code that disables call forwarding. And one more thing. Once your phone installs an update, the items you have changed may reset to default. So, if your device has been updated, just go back to this video and recheck everything. And make sure you bookmark it right now for future reference. And that would be it for today. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to comment, share and subscribe. That was Ron Martino. Be good.